Hello and welcome back to Better Minecraft Mine Colonies and boy do we have an episode for you. Once again a huge thank you to all of my Patreon members and YouTube members. You make the wheels and the bus go round and round. But without further ado let's jump in. Alright so welcome back to the colony and it looks like it's ladies night because apart from old Lucius, wait Lucius the layer of ladies and Sophie the layer of ladies um well, I guess you're in the right seat, but you're definitely not in the right seat. Dolores Damagerid, um, yeah, we're kind of getting a bit stale on these colonist names, which reminds me, if you're a Patreon member or a YouTube member, do check the community posts or the Patreon page because there is a post where you can post your username or whatever nickname you want to add to my Mind Connolly's world and I will add your name to the database and then there's a small chance that they will become one of the colonists' names when they come to visit. And so if I see any colonists that do have Patreon or YouTube member names, I will be hiring them. So if you want to be in the server and uh, get destroyed by creepers and zombies and whatever, do make sure you check that out. What's that over there? Is that a mushroom? Oh, and a hobbit hut. Oh, no way. Right in my back door. Mega distraction. I had no idea this existed. Anyway, we're going to leave it because it's not important. There's nothing in those things anyway. So what are we doing this episode and what did we do last episode and what have we done between episodes? Those are three big and important questions, aren't they, Mr. Fingers? So if we step down here into this large clearing meadow that we created last episode, you'll see we have a forester, old Tarquin DiCaprio, and then over here, dodgy as can be, we have Benza Fisher Straw Fingers. Straw Fingers says Benza Fisher, my boy, I had dreamed of a better life than this for you. Sure, okay, yeah. I don't think they're any relation, I think he's just messing with me. But anyway, our farmer is great, and these guys both have amazing stats for their jobs. Now, while we're thinking about what we're going to do for our next building, what I want to do is get these upgraded to level 3. And these are going to be the first buildings, apart from the builder's hut, that are going to be level 3. And if you look at the materials required to make them level 3, it's all really simple stuff. I think I have almost all of this already in the warehouse. Oh, except the carved pumpkins. So let's pull the trigger on this, say upgrade, and give this one to Alyssa Jack. And then we'll go and tell old Bilbo to upgrade the Forester's Hut. Oh yeah, right, yeah, so what have I done also? Um, I've built this tunnel here. I want to have lots of tunnels that connect the colony to other parts of itself. Oh, that's a dead end. As you can see, it's a work in progress. There we go, and I made a tunnel out here because this is the area that I want to put down our mine. I think that'll be pretty important. Also, it loops back if you go through this way. What's up, Queen Kenobi? And it comes back to the section where we have our cave buildings. Oh, that reminds me. We only have one courier. I think our other courier either died or we gave them another job. Either way, Courier's Hut 2 has no workers. So who are we going to make our second courier? It can be Little Bits Madrigal. Oh, of course, Little Bits Madrigal, who I hired when I logged in because uh, they had like one hunger shank and they were about to leave. And uh, Little Bits is, of course, one of my Patreons. So, we're going to get Dr. Potter. I think he's got the best stats, right? 13 and 18. Or Queen Big Lips. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to give her Queen Big Lips because these are her biggest stats. Whereas Dr. Potter has much higher creativity, dexterity, stamina. Yeah, that'll be a waste. So, it's going to be old Queen Big Lips. There you go. And now we'll go and assign her to the warehouse as well. Here we go. Couriers, manage workers, and... Big Lips, this is your warehouse now. And now another thing that you guys keep saying in the comment section is, uh, why do I have this bit of lava here? It's just an accident waiting to happen. My colonists are going to burn. And when I think about it, maybe the guy that visited the tavern didn't get struck by lightning. It was a storm, but maybe they just fell in lava. And it counted as fire because they escaped, but then they burned. It could be. Ooh! Oh my god, Cactus Jack. So we're going to fill this in once and for all. There we go. And also we don't really need a well. We've got loads of water over here that we can just suck up from. So we're just going to get rid of this well. There we go. Filled that sucker in. 
So what is odd is that Cactus Jack prefers this entrance to the warehouse. He doesn't take the main stairs. Maybe we could help him out here and give him a stairway down to the main path. And you guys in the comment section have said that they don't like stairs. They prefer slabs. So let's try that out. I've probably got some cobblestone slabs in here somewhere. Wow, there we go. Interesting. So now I've put down slabs. It looks like you guys lied to me and Cactus Jack completely ignores this path now and prefers to use the stairs. That's so weird. What if we make the path go up to the slabs? That might work. Either way, I feel like you pulled a heck and sneaky on me and uh, I've been tricked. So Alyssa is hard at work. Bilbo is not doing anything. Let's go down to Bilbo's hut and see what's up with him. Bilbo, you son of a gun. Recall the worker. What's up? And uh, let's follow him to see where he goes. Now, where is Bilbo going and what's he doing? He's had a sleep. But it's daytime now, Bilbo, so you've got to get out of bed. What's wrong? He says he's working. Oh, no, we didn't assign him to the job, did we? My bad. Build options, builder, Bilbo, upgrade. Now we go. Wait, requires a... Oh, no. This building requires a builder's hut of level three or higher to be upgraded. Ah, oh, so we're going to have to get Alyssa on the case over here rather than Bilbo. But that's okay because Bilbo can get to work on our mine level one. So build options, builder, Alyssa, upgrade. There we go. And she'll do that once she's finished with the farm. But to finish the farm, she definitely needs some carved pumpkins. Alyssa Jack, supplied 43%, used 11%. I thought most of this stuff was in the warehouse. It should be. Either way, how do we carve a pumpkin? A carved pumpkin is as simple as giving a pumpkin to a farmer. How do you carve a pumpkin? I think you right click with like an axe or something on a pumpkin. Do I have any pumpkins? I do have three pumpkins, but what's pretty important is that I don't run out of pumpkins. So I'll save one of these pumpkins for seeds, like so, and we'll try and carve the other two. So how does this work? I think you put the pumpkin down and then right click it with a knife. There we go. Perfect. And how many did she need? Two. Exactly the right amount. Use the ax, get these. And we'll put them directly in her build hut. So another great idea that you guys have mentioned is that I could hook up all of these racks in the warehouse to another storage network. Then I can use another remote to access the warehouse directly and ferret things from my inventory over to the warehouse without having to come over here. But for now, this is very okay. And we're going to put some of the hay bales in here and take out those glass shards. I don't think sticks are very important, so we'll take those out. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our mine out of the computer. Where did I put the mine? Also the build tool. And okay, we've got the build tool now. We've got the mine. Let's go over and put down our mine. So like I said, we've built a tunnel down here that connects to the cave. And takes us all the way over. Oh, hello, Doc. So yeah, if you look at the map, this is where we are in the colony. These are the main buildings. This down here is where the farms are and the forester's hut. And so the mine is going to be kind of in the same vicinity as these guys right over here. So we're going to need to clear out a space and get rid of some trees. I should have some axes in the computer. There we go. We need a few of these probably. We'll take uh, three for now. I've also got to get rid of these other axes that are almost spent. And let's get to chopping. Now a mine is going to be really important because I think going forwards we're going to need a lot of cobblestone and even forgetting just the iron and the copper and the other materials, the ores that you can get from a mine, just stone itself is going to be really important. So actually I think I only really need to get rid of one of these trees. These other guys can probably just stay here, I'll have a sleep and then we'll take a look at how big this building is and see if we can work out what we're going to need for it.
right -o. So the build tool right here, minor medieval oak. Let's get a bird's eye view. Oof, now it's a big old building, isn't it? There's a lot of digging required for this building. I'm gonna need to make a lot of shovels. So this is medieval oak, and this is medieval oak alternative. We can hide the uh, placeholder blocks. There we go, much better, looks much nicer. And now let's take a look. So level one, two, three, four, five. It's a pretty cool looking mine. And Medieval Oak, level one, two, three, four, five. And this is a really ugly looking mine. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It, it looks okay. The materials requirements for the, uh, for the regular one are much cheaper, aren't they? Let's spin it around because it's gonna be facing this way, right? So these are the options. This or this. Hmm. Yeah, you know what, my dudes? I think it's definitely going to be the alternative. And this looks kind of correct. Yeah, looking good. So we'll leave it there. We'll go to the block. Where is it? Here it is. Tell him to build it. Make the builder Bilbo. And what are the requirements? Nothing we don't have. There we go. So he's going to get started with this. Let's go and check on Alyssa and how she's doing with the farmer's hut. Oh, and I can't see any visual changes right now. What does the resource scroll say? Yeah, she's really gummed up. For some reason, nothing is getting from the warehouse over to Alyssa. And in fact, a look at the map shows me she's not even by the farmer's hut. Where are you, Alyssa? What are you waiting for? You only need a hammer and some stones and ready to use the new house. Yeah, well said, Alyssa. So, oh, don't close your door on me. Oh, so rude. So it looks like Alyssa was doing this weird thing where she comes, oh, sorry, do you want me to push you up there? She comes down into her builder's hut at the bottom here. She tries to grab some materials and then she kind of gets stuck walking up here and then walks back down. I'm not quite sure why she does that. Aha, here we go. Cactus Jack and Big Lips are on the case, ferreting stuff over to Alyssa so she can get to work. So things are going correctly. I think one of the biggest problems we have now is because we have a forester and because we have a farmer, our couriers now have loads more work to do. They have a lot of crops and seeds to start taking from the farm over to the restaurant. Also, they have logs and things to pick up from Tarquin DiCaprio. And it looks like he needs an axe to keep working anyway. So another thing you guys mentioned is you need minimums, right? So we're gonna go over to the farm block and I'll show you what I mean by minimums. Basically, the restaurant likes to eat carrots. So what might happen is we'll run out of carrots and uh, yeah, we don't have a minimum here at the farm to fall back on. So we'll go to the farmer's block, we'll go to minimum stock and we'll say that we want you to keep a minimum of carrots and we want you to keep one stack of carrots. And we'll do the same with potatoes. Keep one stack of potatoes. Oh yeah, so look, Alyssa is hard at work now and the resource scroll says she's got 52% of the things, she's used all of those, so she's waiting for even more materials now, but obviously this is where things kind of break down with mine colonies. The more systems that are involved, the more one system is waiting for another system is waiting for another system. And at some point there is a bottleneck, a point where workload is getting to the maximum. At the moment, it feels like the courier is the bottleneck. We have two couriers frantically working to take things from hut to hut. And it's really just not enough, is it, Jennifer Paindrag? No, not really. Either way, while she's working on the farm, it will happen in the background. It's just gonna take a long time. Let's go and see what Bilbo's doing and if we can help him at all with his build. Where are you, Bilb? Here he is. And now look, Bilbo is using our advanced tunnel system and pushing old little bits here into the wall, but he's using the new tunnels that we built. They're a bit ugly at the moment. I haven't decorated them yet, but he's using our new tunnels to get to the mine great effective. We've got to be really careful though with these tunnels because the cave buildings below do kind of expand upwards and if we're not careful 
these tunnels will get filled up with the buildings that we upgrade down below. So let's give him a hand and start digging up some of this trash. Now he's got good tools, he's got a nice iron shovel that'll really serve him well in his building endeavours, but it's still not quite as good as my diamond shovel, so we're gonna help out. There we go, oh yeah, anything else to dig? Bilbo, what are you digging now? Oh my god, another level, okay. So while Alyssa's is working on the farm and Bilbo's working on the mine, what we're going to do is we're going to go and craft a couple more guard towers. Basically we have four guard towers, but that's not going to cut the mustard anymore. We've got way too many colonists and they just can't protect all of our colony. So I reckon we need about four to six more guard towers, at least. Yeah, that sounds like a lot, doesn't it? But you know what? It's not. It really isn't. It's important that we look after our dudes. What are we looking for? Guard towers. Now we could also build a barracks, but I think barracks is locked behind some research in the university. Here we go, yeah, the barracks requires research at the university to be built. So that will come with time, just give it patience. There we go, six guard towers, amazing! We've got the build tool as well. Let's go and plop these down in some prime locations. Now these guard towers are so small compared to some of the other ones, so we're gonna splash them around the colony where we think they'll fit in and not look too janky. One of those places I think is opposite this other tower. We can have like two towers here opposite each other. I think that will look really cool. And there we go, opposite the other tower. Looks good to me. Pull the trigger and we're good to go. Now I think I can jam a guard tower in here next to the cage between the courier's hut. Let's try it. Boom. Hmm, so what about over here, next to this other guard tower? I like the idea of pairing up these guard towers. And there is a nice spot here, just over from the town hall. So let's try it. Oh yeah, that looks amazing. If we can just bring it over by one block. Oh yeah, the twin towers of New Kingdom. Perfect. Oh, no, hang on a sec. Does it overlap anything? No, perfect. Okay, pull the trigger. So you guys also said that in my last series, all the mod 6, the carpenter's hut, sorry, the forester's hut, was the most dangerous place in the colony. It's where all of our colonists died, basically, because of the dangerous dark zones created beneath the canopies. So what I'm going to do is definitely put down some guard towers here. Bring it over a bit, and maybe one more. There we go, looks good. And that's four guard towers for Alyssa. And we'll leave it at that. That's a lot of guard towers, a lot of materials, and since she's the only person that can work on level 3 buildings, we want to keep her free and not lock her up too much. So how is she doing with the farm? Man, this whole place looks so messy, doesn't it? But it's well on the way. Ooh, 95%! Wait, how's, how does that work? She's used 98%, but she's got 95% supplied? What? That's not good math. Ooh! Uh-oh, bear. Where did he come from? Oh no! What if one of our colonists gets eaten by a bear? That would be terrible. But anyway, as you can see, the level 3 upgrade for the farm kind of doesn't really look much different at all. We'll have to come back and take a look when she's finished. Anyway, time to go over and check the mine. How are you? Oh my god, Bilbo. He is just a diggin' fool. And I suppose, yeah, the important thing with a mine isn't so much the upside, the top side, it's the bottom side. I imagine he has to dig pretty far down to get this thing completed. So Alyssa is basically almost done with the farm. Let's go and make sure she has what she needs. Whoa! For the... Forester's hut? Hmm. Yeah, there's no way to see what she needs until she gets going. And also, like I've mentioned before, this is going to open up the option to have another field. So let's plonk that down as well while we're here. Oh, rise and shine back in New Kingdom. Oh, but check this out, right? So I've gone into decorations field basic and I didn't know, but this has loads of different types of farms. It's got a cactus farm, which I think can be repurposed as a sugarcane farm as well. That's pretty amazing. It's got a nether wart farm. Oh no, there's a sugarcane farm. Oh, it's basically just these three farms. But I definitely want both a cactus and a sugarcane farm, maybe a nether wart farm. So, oh, I think what I'm going to do is put down these three fields once we're done with this other field. 
Oh, there we go. Farmer 3 is complete. And honestly, if you told me this has been upgraded from level 2 to 3, I wouldn't have even known. It looks basically like the same building. But I'm sure it is a different building. Anyway, yes, yeah, so we're going to fields and not basic. We're going to oak. Now, not every field needs to be a big one. We could make a smaller one, certainly for things like pumpkins and melons. But we'll keep it raised up because I like that idea of it being a different level to this other field over here. So boom, a smaller field. That looks good to me. So Elizabeth started work on Forester 3. Let's see what she needs, because there's a few shingles that we might not have. Yeah, let's see. Flower pots I don't think we have. Rails we definitely don't have. Yeah, let's go and take care of these. So it's the slate, oak, rails, and flower pots. Cobblestone there. Sticks in the middle. And then oak as the wood. Okay, and here we go. Rails. We'll make uh, 32 of these, because they could come in handy later on. So, time to- oh wait, look, we've already cooked up some clay. Perfect. Wait, a load of clay? Wow. It's always important to check your furnaces because you never know- oh, there we go, what you might have left inside them, like iron ingots. Yeah, whew, we can put these back in the computer then, nice. Two flower pots, and look at the scroll, says bam, we have exactly what we need. Let's go and give her the hookup. And now she has exactly what she needs. Oh right, yeah, so let's go back and check on the miner. Man, this whole episode has just been back and forth, waiting for Bilbo to actually get started on the build. But at the moment, he's just digging. Oh, look, it's going down. Okay, let's watch this in action. So a super quick time lapse here, because I didn't really appreciate how small this building was. But it's only the humble beginnings of what's gonna become a very cool mine. And if you swoop around it here, you can basically see the top side of this mine just has like a mini crane, uh, a notice board kind of thing, and stairways that take you down into the bowels where you can see what the mine is going to become. Because obviously this mine is going to expand underground more so than overground. But a quick look at the materials showed me that actually we kind of have all of the things we need to take this bad boy right the way up to level 2. So I pulled the trigger, reset the camera, and let's go back to the time lapse. Also, if you look very carefully in the background, you might be able to see Alyssa working on another one of the guard towers. She's been hard at work getting all of the buildings that we've queued up for her done. And if she started on the guard towers, that must mean that she's completed the Forester up to level 3. That's super exciting. That means with the Builder's Hut, the Farm, and now the Forester, we have three level 3 buildings. A couple of the things I love about this build are the thatch, which I always think works well with these lower level buildings, but also the inclusion of a weird kind of crane. I'm a big sucker for a crane, I love it on the builder's hut, and I love it equally on the mine. Right, so there we go, straight to level 2 with the mine. Now let's see if we can employ ourselves a miner. So, manage workers, and I guess what we're looking for is strength and stamina, and it looks like Dr. Potter, you are being called away from the emergency ward to fulfill your true calling in life, which is to be a miner. Okay, cool. Get down there into the coal mines. So how does a mine work? Well, let's click on this red circle to find out. Oh, it's Dr. Potter. <laughs> okay, Ooh, he looks like a weird looking miner. What's with the face mask? Let's get some more of that coal today. Yeah, man, let's get some more of that coal. Dig this hole out. Yeah. I like this guy's attitude. So he's going to need a pickaxe, I suppose. Which he doesn't have. Oh, but it looks like Queen Big Lips has given him the hookup. So let's go and watch him go to work. Now, one thing about the mine, which I'm kind of disappointed in, is that it's a very physical mine, right? This guy actually digs blocks. And that's cool, right? I mean, yeah, it's Minecraft. He digs physical blocks in the world. But the problem is, like, look how long it's taking him to get one bit of stone. He just got one bit of stone. Now two. But it's taking him freaking forever to get any kind of stone. Oh, wait, no. Okay, 16 cobblestone. 17. So it looks like I was wrong. Okay, so when he's digging the stone, it looks like one bit of stone turns into like four or five cobblestone. So this is actually a great way for us to get stone, but the problem is, like, what happens once the mine is completely dry? 
once he goes all the way down to bedrock? Do you have to build another mine? Does he start to build sideways? Who knows? It's a bit confusing. So anyway, that's cool, and that's a great way to get cobblestone for your colony. Now, another thing is, it's very dangerous down in the mine because, well, it's dark down there. So a way to protect your miner is to assign a guard. To assign a guard, though, you have to first find a guard and set that guard to guard mine. Okay, so the info page says they dig their own mine shafts. Very cool. Well, I can't wait to come back and see what he's dug while we've been away. He's got the usual restrictions. Level 2 means he's locked to iron tools. Oh, hello, Connie Belmont. So it looks like, yeah, once he gets to level 30, he's going to start to build sideways and make some mine shafts that go along to the side. I mean, honestly, I can't wait to see what he does. And everything else is basic advice about how generally colonists work, how they level up and stuff. Okay, very cool. Right, so we're going to leave him to it and go and give old Bilbo here something to do. He's done all his work now. We've got a mine to level two. Let's go and see what Alyssa has been up to. Because, man, this has been an episode where we've built loads of buildings. So, first up, the forester's hut has been complete to level three. Let's go and take a look at what it looks like. Oh, careful. There's bearers. Oh, so it's got this really cool shack now above the main hut. With some potted saplings. Very cool. But, of course, Tarquin DiCaprio is out of work because he's out of axes. Luckily enough, I think I have some axes from when I was clearing trees. So there you go. Take all of my trash. Ooh, now is the bear going to eat him? No. Ooh, he's lucky. A lucky boy. So Alyssa is working on this guard tower, which means she's probably built two of the other ones we put down. Ah, oh, yeah. Here's one next to Strawfinger's cage. Let's get a worker in here. And we're going to obviously get Little Bits Madrigal. As... Which one are we going to go for? Probably a knight, because I, I like the idea of having more knights. Oh, no. Cactus Jack is sick. Oh, we really are going to have to get that hospital built pretty quickly. Oh, no. But unfortunately, the hospital is locked behind research. So it looks like... The university is definitely the next thing we need. Wait, Cactus Jack, you're back? But you're there. That's some weird kind of RNG going on here. Well, we're going to leave him to it, unless he's got amazing stats. What can I do for you? He's super cheap to make, isn't he? I mean, his stats are okay, but they're not amazing. Let's go and see if we can hire some more guards. So we've got one two more guard towers that we can fill up with guards. Smiley's a mighty, a mighty name for a mighty hero, but Honeycomb we can't afford. Ah, oh, Mr. Kenobi, lightsaber duelist supreme. Again, honey, what's with the honey? We're going to have to get a beekeeper for sure. Anna Hamilton, now nah, that's what I'm talking about. Hay bales we can afford. Dexterity, strength, stamina and agility. Looks like she's going to make a great guard, so let's hire her. Now, I'm going to go for mostly knights, because I think knights just generally do more damage, right? And also, we don't have to give them arrows and bows, which is a bit of a pain. So, knight, yeah, stamina and adaptability. Okay, that's the knight stat. Well, that's fine. Hi, you Anna, and rise a knight. So, do you know what? I think maybe, because we need a lot more guards now, to make things cheaper on our supplies, let's turn on colonist breeding. There we go, another, another guard tower in the mix. Kids will be born on... There you go, guys. Go crazy. Have some babies. So the fourth and final guard tower that we've got Alyssa to build is the one over by, I think, the Forester's Hut, right? Yeah, the one over there. Which means we have two more to go. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is going to be crazy. The amount of guards we're going to have bopping around the colony is going to be nuts. So we kind of want these guard towers in places where the guards are going to be needed. And primarily, I think the guards are going to be massively needed underneath these forest canopies. We've got these two guard towers over here, but I think probably the other side of the mine might be a great place to put another guard tower. There we go, looking good. Maybe on the coast overlooking the sea. Yeah, why not? That's a good spot. Because barbarians and raiders do come from the outside of your colony. There we go. Looks tasty to me. Press go. Oh, 
well, look at this. It's a goblin trader all the way up from the mines. What's he doing down here? Or up here, rather? Have you got any cool trades for me, bro? Let's take a look. Cobble for emerald. Apples. Apples for emerald. I've got apples. Loads of them. Where's he gone? No! We were so close to greatness. There he is. Whew, okay, apples to emeralds. Don't mind if I do. So let's get back to the tavern and see if we can hire some more guards. Ah, here we go. Random Nerd Washington. Aha, one of my patrons. And sunflowers again. Super cheap. Oh, look at this. A new child. Queen Slayer. What the hell? That's one hell of a guard name. And Random Nerd Washington, welcome to the team. Queen Slayer, that's crazy. Okay, well we've got it. Queen Slayer is definitely the name of a knight, for sure. It's like Jamie Lannister's weird sister. Oh, there we go. We've enabled babies and now old Smiley the Mighty and Betty DiCaprio are getting it on right in the middle of the pathway. I mean, come on, guys. The tavern's right there. Get a room. 31 books is pretty cheap. Terrible stats, but you know what? She's going to be an expendable guard, so we'll hire her. Let's go and see how Dr. Potter's mine is going. Ah, oh, so very nice indeed. It looks like Dr. Potter has been hard at work fleshing out this mine, and it goes pretty deep now. And I imagine at one of these levels, he'll kind of dig sideways instead and flesh out the mines. So let's go and see if we can get a guard. Oh, we'll sleep because it's night time. Oh no! Mysterious warriors have been spotted to the southeast. Never eat shredded southeast. This way. Okay, let's go and confront these rude dudes. All the colonists are tucked into bed. No, get out of bed, dudes! There's a raid coming! Got to come and defend this guy. Who is it? Oh, it's Benza Fisher. No, they can't take Benza Fisher. Wait, no, it's Random Nerd. Wait, where are these guys? Here we go. Yeah, they're moving out. Oh, oh my God, they're going inside a house. I did not know they go inside houses. So the colonists are trying to hide inside houses and the barbarians are killing them. Oh, there's a bowman there as well. Let's drag them back to the colony. Maybe one of our guards can help us out. But at the moment, there's no guards to be seen. They've all run inside. They've run away. This guy, he's hiding like a freaking coward. Although he probably doesn't have a sword. That's probably fair enough. Watch out, Betty. No! Oh, they left Betty alone. Oh my god, they're going to kill me. Ow! Where's my food? I need some food. Oh, one raider down. I guess one of my colonists attacked them. Oh my god, he just smashed. Did he just steal a brick? What a frickin'... Oh man, we busted our helmet in the process. What the hell? Anyway, let's put this brick back where it's supposed to be. Oh man. So we're going to call it there for this episode. We built a level 2 mine. We got our farm and our forester's hut up to level 3. Plus we built, I think, was it 6 more guard towers around the colony in various locations. But as this raid just exposed, we are woefully unprepared for any other attack that's going to come. So what I'm going to do is get all the existing guard towers we have up to level 2, so they're on par with our existing ones, get those guys some iron tools, and fully recruit an army to defend against the next raid that hits us. Also, we have to remember that we have to get a university and a hospital so that we can finally cure this influenza. I've been Stin. Thank you for watching. A huge thank you to all of my Patreons and YouTube members. And until next time, hit like, subscribe, ding that bell, and I'll see you next time for some more better Minecraft mine colonies. Take care.